In this video, we want to confirm that the derivative given here does equal to sine of natural log of x. And this is really just a check on an integral problem. So in another video, we had the integral of sine of natural log of x dx, and we found that that was equal to this answer here in red, sine of natural log of x. So you can check an integration by just computing the derivative. So if I take the derivative of the answer that we got, I got in the last uh, video, we should get the integrand, which is sine of natural log of x. So let's just do it right here. Individually, we have a product here. So we're going to use the product rule to compute the derivative here. And then we use the product rule again to compute the derivative here. So let's do it first. Uh, second function times the first. So we'll have so it would be the sine of natural log of x. So it would be the sine of natural log of x multiplied by the derivative of the first function, which is 1 half x. So the derivative of 1 half x is 1 half. So we get that. And then it's plus the first function, in this case 1 half x, times the derivative of the second function, that is sine of natural log of x. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine of natural log of x. And then we have to multiply it by the derivative of ln of x. That's, or I should say the chain rule. And that gives me 1 over x. So I'm just going to put the x here. And then these are going to cancel right here. For the second part here, the same thing. I'll, I'll go ahead and write cosine of natural log of x times the derivative of the first function minus one half x, that's going to be minus one half. And then it's the first one, so it'll be minus one half x times the derivative of the first one, so this will be the derivative of cosine will be minus sine, so this will be minus sine, this will be ln of x, and again the chain root, derivative of ln of x is one over x, I just put the x here, bottom, and then these are going to cancel. So we have then one half over here, and then we have sine ln of x. Again, on the second part, we have the uh, x is canceled, so we plus one half here, cosine. So cosine of ln of x. We go to the next one over here, this is going to be minus one half, cosine ln of x. And then on the last part over here, then the x's cancel out here. Got a negative and a negative there. That's a plus one half. So this comes out to a sine ln of x. So we've got a one half cosine ln of x here and a minus one half cosine of ln of x here. Those cancel out. And then we have a one half sine of natural log of x. And again, one half of sine natural log of x. Add those up. That gives me one sine ln of x. And that's what we want. Sine ln of x. So that confirms the uh, derivative of that expression does equal to the sine of natural log of x. Again, just practice with the uh, derivative. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.